starting with uh, the win over Wake, I thought it was a definitive team win. Super proud of uh, the entire group. Um, you know, plus three in turnover margin. Uh, the field position battle was a constant back and forth, and we were able to swing that in our favor with some great punts and coverage as the game went on. Our field goal kicker was Chris Dunn was fantastic as as he's been, and you know his three makes and their one miss was a big deal in the game. Uh, we had fewer penalties than Wake. That was something I challenged our guys. You know, we had six, they had nine. So they were a little bit more self-destructive than we were in that standpoint. And some of that is because of crowd noise. You guys really helped us in that game. They had a lot of false start penalties. And I thought we played complimentary football and you could really see the opposite side of the ball um, setting up the other side and, and playing off each other and giving the other side a spark when they needed one. I thought, you know, right before the drive that we scored with the long pass to Keon that kind of sparked the whole thing. I felt, you know, the um, the post route to Keon, we were tired on defense. I, you know, we'd just been out there for a while and, and consecutive drives and gotten stops. But you could sense that we needed something offensively there to kind of help them. And in that drive, the offense pushes the ball down the field and gets a score and third quarter we had a seven minute and 30 second drive for 15 plays and a touchdown on offense I and mean, that was awesome and that's kind of the cycle of I call it the cycle of death for the opponent but you know when your offense is staying on the field and the defense is pitching three and outs or getting turnovers eventually that defense on the other sideline runs out of gas you know and that complimentary football equation was really well played by our team you know, the, the four quarter atten attendance was huge. Really like to thank our students and fans for making it such a special evening. Um, they're loud, positive cheering and, and the aligned crowd noise, the way that they were in it when we needed them to be in certain down and distances for our defense was awesome and uh, positively impacts our performance and the mental state you have as a player. And, you know, when, when the fans are, are cheering loudly in a positive fashion for their team, just understand what that does to the psyche of a young person. It's awesome for our team to have that kind of backing. And thank you for that. It matters. Uh, you were there to help us get our 16th win uh, consecutive at home, which ties Coach Holtz's record and, and uh, school history. And uh, you know what my request is going to be to to repeat it, you know, to, to be able to be here for the 17th, the, the, the record. Uh, and also to be here for a senior day that as I get into this, you'll understand um, the importance of that and, and the deserving nature of that for this group. And really all I want, you know, is for us to be the best we can be as a team and, and uh, to be the best we can be as a program, to be the best we can be as a fan base. And, and I felt like that was one of those moments um, Saturday night. That was a special night, you know, the way we played, the way that you cheered, the whole thing. It was awesome. And uh, thank you. And just talking to my team <clears throat> in our team meeting on Sunday, I asked them, you know, to give me their recap of the game. And it was one of the most fun games they've played in. You know, they talked about the energy, the fans, the way that they played for each other as a team. So it was fun to, to you know, kind of be a part of that whole thing. And, and it was one of the most fun games I've coached in. So get ready for one more time at home. You know, and everything that we got as a team will be given, as a staff will be given, and everything as a fan base we're asking for. Um, you know, offensively in the game, we had 13 explosive plays, and uh, we were much more explosive in the run game than we have been. That was great to see. We had zero turnovers to their three. Uh, we had zero drops, um, not just in the receiving room, but as an offense. Time of possession, as I mentioned, was big. You know, from a negative standpoint, they made some good plays at the line of scrimmage. There was a little more leakage at times into the backfield. Some of it's just, you know, MJ identifying some pressures and Miss ID and some blitzes that, you know, knowing where he can go with the ball quicker will help him. It's a great learning experience that way. You know, defensively, the, the three takeaways, three interceptions, and the fourth down stop was big. I thought the goal line stand, if you go back and watch that, I mean, Isaiah Moore, put three plays in a row together on the goal line. That was just 
phenomenal a tackle for loss a tackle for loss and a sack it was like not on my watch you're not getting in this end zone I and mean, it was an unbelievable three set uh, three play in a row set for isaiah he's a stud you know the shutout uh, in the first quarter and third quarter on defense they're a fast start offense and that was one of the things that we really talked a lot about you know not letting them start the game in a rhythm not letting them start the second half in a rhythm and that was really good to see our guys do that we eliminated their run game, and, and when you do that, it changes, you know, the mesh ride, the slow mesh and all that when you're taking that part away. And I thought our D-line just really battled, you know. I mean, there's a lot of guys that played well, but Corey Durden and and, uh, and uh, Davin Van deserve a lot of credit for the way they strained and disrupted uh, up front. You know, I thought all three linebackers were super productive. You know, negatives um, – you know, there's just a couple of times at the top of some routes, he gave those receivers a chance to make plays. Some of them were back shoulder plays, and we can get better at defending the ball there. Uh, the two pass interferences, one of them I thought was, you know, a questionable call. The other one was a good call. And, uh, you know, gave up a few third and longs that normally we wouldn't. I think you got to give Sam Hartman some credit on some of that, too. I thought the guy just really hung in there and took some shots and threw some good balls. You know, special teams wise, Chris Dunn is the best in the country at what he's doing right now. And, and uh, knock on wood, just one kick at a time, keep it going. But he's delivering and doing his thing. It's fun to watch. Super proud of him. You know, I thought the punt coverage um, by our missiles, Keon Lassane at first tackle um, was a, a poor hang time punt. And he wins and stacks his guy, and takes a shot, no yards. Daryl Jones continues to be a stud in, in punt coverage. And then the the pin punt with Caden Newcaster to Thayer Thomas, man, was that a thing of beauty on the one yard line? Great play by Thayer. And just really proud of Caden, you know, coming in that first punt, 55 yard punt, four or five hang with pressure in his face and first college punt ever. You know, what a great play by him. And then Julian Gray continues to, you know, provide field position as a kickoff returner. So, it was a good game, you know, and, and uh, Wake's a good football team. You know, Clawson and his staff deserve credit. They've really done a good job there, and, and uh, I have so much respect for Sam Hartman. I think that kid is a stud. Uh, now on to Boston College, you know, look forward to playing them and, and known Jeff Halfley a long time. A lot of respect for Jeff as a coach. You know, offensively, I know they're going through it a little bit injury-wise. You can see how they've gotten better on the O-line. They've gone from being a really old offensive line to a young offensive line, and those kids have gotten better up front as the year's gone on. Got hard run and tailbacks, and I think they have the most explosive uh, receiver in the ACC in Zay Flowers. Uh, he's a guy I really wanted in high school, and we offered him to play offense and defense here. I thought he was a great player, still is a great player. But, you know, he's just an all-around, really, really talented guy. And uh, the other receivers in the room are good players, too. Um, as I mentioned, it's the last home game. It's senior day. Opportunity to win a 17 straight, knowing a record. And, and uh, you know, this group has collectively 336 career receptions, 1,446 tackles, and has put up 698 points. <laughs> they've done a lot you know it's 30 guys in the senior day some of them are underclassmen who haven't made decisions and so don't read too much into it there's probably seven or eight guys on there that can come back and won't know until the season's over um so you know we'll have to wait that out but you know i like to give those guys this opportunity to be a part of it in case they do decide to to go pro and um so we'll see where that goes but you'll see a really really impressive group of guys that have been um great to coach and phenomenal in, in building this program back to where it was after the tough season we had three years ago or four years ago now. So love these guys like sons and, and want to see them sent out the right way, you know, and, and I know our, uh, our fans love the tailgate and I love that about you. Uh, I am asking that you come in a little earlier because senior day, the, the uh, send off happens before the coin toss um, I don't know the exact minute mark, but we'll put something out on social media, Annabelle, about, you know, exactly when that'll start so that you guys can be in the stands for them. I think that would be meaningful uh, and a good tribute to a great group of guys that have put a lot of blood, sweat, tears, 
into this program and into your viewing pleasure at times. So like a little payback for those guys. But you're talking about a bunch of really good guys. Uh, I'm going to miss them a lot. And so we'll send them out the right way.